G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Back on the Bibbleman track, doing Collie to Ballingup over four days. So, if you're doing a sectional end to end on the Bibbleman track and you've made it to Collie, and you're looking at that walk from the spur trail or up the spur trail from the town of 2.7 kilometers I think it is or something there's a shorter route to get back on track and that's get dropped off at the cemetery on the main road into Collie and walk up the left hand side and you'll end up on the track I'm on now and this will take you all the way up to the Bibbleman track I think just near the end it will go right then left onto the track and it's on all trails I looked at and found this one so I'll let you know if I get lost later on follow the trail from the cemetery uh, from the left hand side as you're looking at it away from the road and I got close to the end where it started to bear right and there was a track going off to the left I carried on going right and then the next track I came along to on the left I went up there about about 10 meters if that and that's where it joined up with the Bibbleman track going across so I just took right onto the Bibbleman track and that's bringing me up to where the spur trail joins the Bibbleman track which is just, I can see it now it's about 20 meters away there we go, it's up there and I'll be back on the Bilbon track heading south to Ballingup and this way from there that drop off point was less than one kilometer so a lot shorter than heading off from the visitor centre or Worthy Stain in Collie. So if you're getting dropped off here to do this section, that point there at the cemetery, that's a spot for you. So here we go. Back on the Bilbon track. That's Collie that way. And we're going this way. Bilbon track south. So off we go. Back on track. So today is about 16 kilometers from the spur trail there point into Yabuk shelter. Temperature wise beginning of spring we are. So this video will go up. I think the ones I've got up will probably be in about four or five weeks time from filming this. But today's temperature forecast the high of about 16 degrees centigrade. So, uh, not cold, not hot, but in a way, ideal walking temperatures is today.
beautiful has it been so far? All the wildflowers out. Temperature, like I said, is not too bad, it's quite nice. And about an hour into the walk. That's some drop off. Is it the time? Yeah, it's about. Where's my watch? Yeah, it got dropped off about an hour and a quarter ago, so about an hour into walk, say. And it's just been beautiful out here. The sound of the birds. Haven't seen any kangaroos yet. Uh, but no, it's just lovely.
about two hours in and we've reached the river now when you come to the river <laughs> you may notice the trees set off between uh, the track carrying on and the river you'll see a warble in one of the trees facing the opposite way and I think there's one going uh, south too there's no track there the track is the main track that you've been walking down to get to that point and then the next section where you actually get ab you're able to get to the river which is the river's there where the old bridge is that's where we've just come come from so you've got a choice of one two or three tracks now the first wall you'll see at this point is actually down the third track which follows along the same direction of the river so when you get to here excuse me when you get to here you'll take the third one which is running along parallel with the river and then it looks like it just shoots off to the left away from the river a bit so there's a wall on the tree so we're gonna go left so there's the river with one track, we ignore that one and we follow this small one. Four and a half hours in. Uh, most of it's been going uphill. Not what I was expecting. But that's okay, it's still beautiful out here with all the wildflowers. Just surrounded by all the yellow. This is yeah. Little mozzies and everything. I always do my best to mention water. Doesn't matter if it's a cool day or hot day. Make sure you got water and you drink plenty. And the second bonus of drinking plenty, it makes your pack lighter. I'm easily over halfway now. I'll have a quick look whilst I'm sat here. Right, let's go find the shelter. Six kilometres to go. And between there and here. 99 meter descent followed by 142 meters no 99 meters ascent and 142 meters descent so more going down and level than going up i made the mistake i got my map out and i left it on the table at home and i walked out and i got picked up this morning so i'm having to rely on 
the mobile phone with the, I think this one's Guthooks I've got on at the moment. Not a bad program to use. Those. But one I do like is the all trails because that shows you all the small trails around. And that's what I used this morning to get back onto the Bibbulmun track. I, I think I mentioned earlier I got dropped off uh, at the cemetery and just getting dropped off there and following the all trails track it saved me over a kilometre so I was happy with that and from that point to the intersection where the spur trail joins from Cully or going into Cully was only about a kilometre so a lot, lot shorter okay Flies are getting friendly, so I think it's time to get off my ass and carry on walking. Ah, made it to Yabba up. Not a bad walk, like I said, more inclines than I expected. Uh, the worst incline is when you get to the uh, trail where it takes you to the, the other campsite, the group one, or to Wellington Dam, and it says 450 metres to Yabba up. And you think, yeah, or Yabba up. You think, yeah, great. And it's the steepest incline out of the day. <laughs> they always save the best for last, don't they? Uh, Monsters at the moment are crazy. I'm gonna go and get the repellent on. But the walk itself, it, it's a decent walk. If you had never done anything like this before, it might be a bit challenging. But as long as you take your time and use walking poles, you should have no trouble at all. So I got dropped off uh, seven hours ago and most of that time I found for stopping uh, making videos uh, and answering my phone and calls kept coming through. Um, uh, I think average person, fairly fit, could probably get this done in five hours. Quite easy. 
how they look the fitter even less. But yeah, really nice walk, I recommend it. Anybody who wants to do it. The shelter has been extended, so there's plenty of shade in there that when you need it. And you've got your bench out here where I'm sitting, and you've got your drop toilets over the back. Looking at the signs, you've got all your camp pitches over that way. And probably got some behind as well, like normal. <sighs> so, on that note, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and you haven't subscribed already please go down below click on the thumbs up button the like button click the subscribe button s select the bell so you can be notified of all future videos make sure you click uh, press all and then you'll get all the videos not just one or two and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care